Venturing further into our exploration, we encounter the treacherous terrain of trust issues, a common obstacle in the path to forging lasting friendships. In the Stoic tradition, the journey towards overcoming these barriers begins with a deep dive into self-awareness and the acceptance of the impermanence inherent in human connections. Trust, a fragile thread that weaves through the fabric of relationships, often bears the scars of past betrayals. Yet, from the stoic viewpoint, these scars are not just marks of vulnerability, but badges of resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of stoicism, teaches us to find strength in adversity. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. In the context of trust issues, this means not allowing the actions of others to dim our light or erode our capacity to trust again. The stoic approach to trust issues involves a nuanced understanding of control. We are reminded that while we cannot command the actions or intentions of others, we have absolute dominion over our reactions and perceptions. This realization is liberating, allowing us to navigate friendships with a sense of calm detachment from outcomes, focusing instead on the authenticity of our engagement. Building trust is akin to tending a garden. It requires patience, care and the acceptance that not all plants will thrive. Each interaction, each shared moment is an opportunity to sow seeds of trust, but it's also a practice in acceptance. Seneca's wisdom rings true here. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By distinguishing between genuine threats to our trust and the shadows of past hurts, we can open ourselves to deeper connections without the weight of unreasonable expectations. Open, honest communication stands as a cornerstone in the Stoics' arsenal against trust issues. It's about creating a space where vulnerabilities can be shared without fear of judgment, where honesty paves the way for understanding and empathy. This doesn't guarantee the absence of pain or betrayal, but equips us with the tools to respond to such challenges with dignity, learning from each experience and growing stronger in the process. In the grand tapestry of friendships, trust issues are but one pattern among many. They do not define the entire piece but add depth and complexity by embracing the stoic principles of self-awareness, acceptance and open communication. We transform these challenges into opportunities for personal growth and deeper, more meaningful connections. Remember the journey through the landscape of trust is not about building impenetrable walls around our hearts, but about learning to navigate the waters of human relationships with wisdom, courage and a steady hand on the tiller of our own ship. As we delve into the realms of social dynamics, the concept of lack of social opportunities emerges as a significant barrier to forging meaningful connections. This obstacle, however, can be navigated through the stoic lens, transforming perceived scarcity into a canvas for crafting rich, fulfilling relationships. In the bustling maze of modern life, where digital interactions often overshadow face-to-face -face encounters, the quest for genuine friendships might seem daunting. Yet Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, offers a beacon of wisdom. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This perspective invites us to shift our focus from the external scarcity of opportunities to the internal abundance of choices we possess in responding to our social environment. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the power within, to create opportunities for connection, even in the most unlikely places. It's about seeing beyond the conventional social arenas and recognizing the potential for interaction in everyday moments. Whether volunteering for a cause close to your heart, joining a local interest group, or simply striking up a conversation in a coffee shop, each action becomes a deliberate step towards weaving the social fabric of your life. Moreover, Stoic wisdom underscores the importance of quality over quantity in friendships. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, very little is needed to make a happy life. 
it is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Applying this to our social lives, we realize that the richness of our connections is not measured by their number, but by their depth. By seeking out those who share our values and interests, we cultivate a network of relationships that are not only meaningful, but also resilient to the ebbs and flows of life. The stoic approach to overcoming a lack of social opportunities also involves a re-evaluation of our expectations. Instead of passively waiting for connections to come our way, we are encouraged to actively seek out and create spaces for interaction. This proactive stance is not about forcing connections, but about opening ourselves to the natural flow of relationships, allowing them to evolve organically. In navigating the challenge of limited social opportunities, we are guided by the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These principles not only help us in making discerning choices about when and how to engage socially, but also in maintaining a sense of equilibrium and contentment with the friendships we do forge. As we continue on our journey through the landscape of friendships, remember that the perceived desert of social opportunities can, with a stoic mindset, be transformed into a fertile ground for meaningful connections. It's not about the quantity of friends we accumulate, but the quality of the bonds we nurture. Through deliberate action, reflective thinking, and an openness to the world around us, we can carve out our own unique path in the social wilderness, one that leads to genuine, lasting friendships. Navigating the complex tapestry of human relationships without a well-developed set of social skills can feel akin to sailing a ship without a compass. This segment delves into the stoic perspective on lack of social skills offering guidance on how to cultivate these essential tools for fostering deep and enduring friendships. In the realm of Stoicism, the emphasis on self-awareness and personal growth provides a solid foundation for enhancing our social capabilities. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, posits that our greatest resource is the ability to control our reactions and adapt our behaviors in alignment with our core principles. This wisdom suggests that the development of social skills is not merely about mastering a tequit or conversation techniques, but about aligning our interactions with the virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. The journey towards overcoming a deficiency in social skills begins with introspection by understanding our own values and how they shape our interactions with others, we pavor the way for genuine connections. It involves embracing our authentic selves and allowing that authenticity to guide our social engagements. This authenticity acts as a beacon, attracting individuals who resonate with our true nature and fostering friendships grounded in mutual respect and understanding. Stoicism teaches us the power of active listening and empathy. In a world where everyone is eager to express themselves, the ability to listen with intent and understand from a place of compassion is a rare and valuable skill. It's about creating a space where others feel seen and heard, which in turn cultivates a sense of trust and closeness. Remember, Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of actions that are consistent with nature. Our social interactions should therefore be natural, flowing from a place of sincerity rather than forced or contrived efforts. Additionally, the stoic practice of reflection is crucial in developing social skills. After social interactions, take a moment to reflect on what went well and areas for improvement. This is not about harsh self-criticism, but about gentle self-improvement, recognizing that each interaction is an opportunity to learn and grow. Through this process, we become more adept at navigating social nuances, expressing ourselves clearly, and forging meaningful connections. Engagement in diverse social settings also plays a vital role. By stepping out of our comfort zones and exposing ourselves to various social environments, we challenge ourselves to adapt and learn. 
whether it's joining a new hobby group, attending a workshop, or simply striking up a conversation with a stranger, each experience enriches our social toolbox, equipping us with the skills necessary for building lasting friendships. In embracing the stoic approach to enhancing social skills, we are reminded that the essence of meaningful friendships lies in the quality of our interactions, not the quantity. By focusing on personal growth, practicing empathy, and seeking authentic connections, we gradually transform our social challenges into opportunities for deepening our relationships. As we progress to the next chapter, let's carry forward the stoic teachings of self-improvement and mindfulness in our interactions, understanding that the path to rich and fulfilling friendships is paved with patience, practice, and a genuine openness to the experiences of others. As we journey through the tapestry of life, our priorities shift and grow, much like the seasons change, each bringing its own challenges and beauty. This chapter, Shifting Priorities or Growth, explores how our evolving life goals and aspirations can impact our friendships viewed through the lens of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the impermanence of life, understanding that change is not only inevitable, but also necessary for our growth. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once mused on the importance of being adaptable, reminding us that our reaction to change defines our character more than the change itself. As our priorities shift, whether due to career advancement, personal development, or family commitments, we find ourselves at crossroads where the maintenance of old friendships and the cultivation of new ones become a deliberate choice. The essence of Stoicism in facing these transitions is not in rigidly clinging to past connections or forcing new ones, but in maintaining a harmonious balance between our inner values and our external actions. It encourages us to reflect deeply on what truly matters to us and to align our efforts and time accordingly. This might mean that some friendships naturally fade as our paths diverge, while others deepen and new ones form, resonating with our current phase of life. A stoic approach to shifting priorities involves the practice of mindfulness, being fully present with our friends when we are with them, despite the myriad demands on our time. It's about quality over quantity, choosing to invest in relationships that are mutually enriching and aligned with our current journey. This selective investment in friendships is not a dismissal of past connections, but an acknowledgement that as we grow, our social circles may evolve to reflect who we are becoming. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to see these changes as opportunities for personal and relational growth. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, highlighted the power of self-determination in navigating life's changes. By consciously choosing which relationships to nurture, based on shared values and mutual growth, we not only honor our own journey, but also respect the journeys of those around us. This mutual respect and understanding can lead to deeper, more meaningful connections that transcend the superficial bonds formed by convenience or circumstance. In embracing the ebb and flow of life's priorities, it's crucial to communicate openly with our friends about the changes we're experiencing. This transparency fosters understanding and empathy creating a strong foundation for friendships that can adapt and thrive through all of life's seasons. By practicing stoic virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation, we can gracefully navigate the shifting landscapes of our lives and our friendships. As we move forward, let's remember that growth is not just a personal endeavor, but a collective journey. The friendships that accompany us on this path are the ones that truly matter, enriched by shared experiences, challenges, and triumphs. In the spirit of Stoicism, let us cherish these connections, recognizing that while our priorities may shift, the value of true friendship remains constant. Next, we'll delve into the role of mental well-being in cultivating and sustaining friendships, 
highlighting Stoicism's timeless wisdom on nurturing the mind and spirit for deeper connections. In our exploration of friendship and solitude, we arrive at a crucial juncture, mental well-being. The Stoics, with their profound understanding of the human psyche, remind us that our internal state significantly shapes our external relationships. As we delve into this topic, let's uncover how nurturing our mental well-being is not just a solitary endeavor, but a foundational step towards cultivating rich, meaningful connections. Mental well-being as viewed through the lens of Stoicism isn't merely the absence of distress, it's the presence of inner harmony and resilience. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, eloquently spoke of the mind as a fortress, impregnable unless we allow external forces to breach its walls. This metaphor beautifully encapsulates the Stoic belief in the power of the mind to withstand life's vicissitudes, maintaining tranquility amidst chaos. For many, the challenge of forging friendships is compounded by internal struggles, be it anxiety, depression, or a pervasive sense of inadequacy. These shadows of the mind can distort our perception of ourselves and others, making the act of reaching out seem insurmountable. However, Stoicism offers a beacon of hope, guiding us towards mastering our internal dialogues and cultivating a garden of peace within. The practice of mindfulness, a concept embraced by both Stoicism and modern psychology, emerges as a vital tool in this endeavor. Mindfulness teaches us to dwell in the present, observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This awareness creates a space between stimulus and response, allowing us to choose our actions rather than being led by fleeting emotions. It's in this space that we find the freedom to engage with others authentically, unencumbered by the chains of past hurts or future anxieties. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to engage in regular self-reflection, a practice that fosters self-awareness and growth. By examining our thoughts, behaviors, and reactions, we can identify patterns that may hinder our ability to form and maintain friendships. This introspection, however, is not meant to be a self-critique session, but a gentle exploration, a way to understand ourselves better and in turn relate more openly and honestly with others. The journey towards mental well-being is also a journey towards vulnerability. Vulnerability, often seen as a weakness, is in fact a strength in the Stoic philosophy. It's the courage to be seen as we are with our imperfections and struggles. In the context of friendships, vulnerability fosters intimacy and trust laying the groundwork for connections that transcend superficial interactions. It invites others to share their true selves, creating a mutual exchange of authenticity and support. As we cultivate our mental well-being, drawing from the wellsprings of stoic wisdom, we not only enhance our quality of life, but also open ourselves to the beauty of deep, meaningful friendships. These friendships nourished by shared understanding and mutual respect become sources of joy and growth, reflecting the stoic ideal of living in harmony with oneself and others. In the next chapter, Lifestyle Choices, we'll explore how our daily decisions and habits influence our ability to forge and maintain friendships, further weaving the principles of stoicism into the fabric of our social lives. As we continue our stoic journey through the landscape of friendship and solitude, we turn our focus to lifestyle choices. The Stoics, with their timeless wisdom, teach us that the choices we make daily sculpt the life we lead, including the friendships we foster or forego. In this chapter, we'll explore how our lifestyle choices can act as bridges or barriers to meaningful connections. In the realm of Stoicism, Epictetus emphasized the importance of discernment in our actions and associations, suggesting that not all pursuits are worthy of our time and energy. This discernment applies profoundly to our lifestyle choices, how we allocate our most precious resources. Time reflects our values and by extension, influences our social sphere. Consider the modern lifestyle often characterized by a relentless pursuit of success, 
measured in professional achievements, material acquisitions, or social media validation. This chase, while rewarding in certain aspects, can inadvertently isolate us, turning our focus inward and away from the rich tapestry of human connection. The Stoic path invites us to question these pursuits, asking us to evaluate whether they bring true fulfillment or merely serve as distractions from what genuinely matters, authentic human relationships, to align our lifestyle choices with the goal of cultivating deeper friendships, we must first embrace the stoic principle of moderation. This isn't about asceticism or denying oneself pleasure, but about finding balance. It's recognizing that endless work, the allure of digital screens, and the chase for societal accolades can eclipse the simple joys found in the company of friends. By consciously choosing to moderate these aspects of our life, we open up space for relationships to flourish. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us the value of shared experiences in deepening bonds. Our lifestyle choices should thus include activities that not only enrich our lives, but also allow us to connect with others on a meaningful level. Whether it's joining a book club, participating in community service, or simply sharing a meal with friends, these shared moments become the building blocks of lasting friendships. Another stoic concept that informs our lifestyle choices is the idea of living according to nature, our own nature and the world around us. This means recognizing and honoring our needs for rest, reflection and genuine connection. In a world that glorifies busyness, choosing to slow down and prioritize relationships can be a radical act yet it's one that aligns with the stoic pursuit of a good life. Adopting a lifestyle that fosters friendships also involves cultivating an environment where such relationships can thrive. This includes creating a welcoming home space for gatherings, dedicating time for regular check-ins with friends and being present during interactions. These actions signal to ourselves and others that our relationships are cherished and prioritized. As we navigate the complexities of modern living, let us draw inspiration from the Stoics, who remind us that the essence of a fulfilling life lies not in external achievements, but in the quality of our relationships. By making lifestyle choices that reflect this understanding, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the well-being of our community. In our next chapter, We'll delve into the power of authenticity, exploring how being true to ourselves can magnetize the right people into our lives, further embodying the stoic ideals of wisdom, courage, justice and temperance in our quest for meaningful friendships. As we venture further into the exploration of friendships through the lens of stoicism, we arrive at the intriguing crossroads of differences in interest. In the Stoic tradition, the value of diversity in thought, passion and pursuit is recognized not as a barrier to friendship, but as a fertile ground for the cultivation of deep, meaningful connections. The ancient Stoics, like Seneca and Epictetus, emphasized the importance of understanding and empathy towards others, regardless of their interests or beliefs. This principle is a powerful reminder that true friendship transcends superficial commonalities, finding its roots instead in mutual respect, shared values, and the genuine desire to understand the world from another's perspective. Consider the rich tapestry of human experience, each individual thread colored by unique interests, hobbies, and passions. When we encounter someone whose interests diverge significantly from our own, it's an opportunity, not a challenge. It's a chance to broaden our horizons, to learn something new, and to deepen our appreciation for the vast spectrum of human expression. Stoicism teaches us that every person we meet has something to teach us, if only we are open to learning. Practicing empathy and curiosity in the face of differences is a stoic exercise in virtue. It's about approaching each interaction with an open mind 
and a willing heart, ready to discover the common humanity that binds us. This doesn't mean we must adopt the other person's interests as our own, but rather that we seek to understand and appreciate their value. In doing so, we enrich our own lives with a diversity of thought and experience that would otherwise remain unexplored. Furthermore, embracing differences in interest encourages us to reflect on our own beliefs and preferences. It challenges us to articulate why we value what we do, deepening our self-knowledge and strengthening our convictions. This process of reflection and dialogue is the foundation upon which authentic friendships are built, one where each individual feels seen, heard and valued for who they truly are. Stoicism also reminds us that the goal of friendship is not to surround ourselves with echoes of our own voice, but to create a symphony of diverse voices that challenge, inspire and support us. It's in the harmony of differences that the most beautiful friendships are formed, offering us a richer, more nuanced understanding of life. As we move it forward, let us carry with us the stoic wisdom that differences in interest are not obstacles to be overcome, but treasures to be cherished. They offer us a glimpse into the infinite variety of the human spirit and the boundless potential for connection and growth. In our concluding chapter, we will reflect on the overarching theme of our discussion, the stoic pursuit of meaningful friendships. We'll weave together the threads of our exploration, highlighting how each principle, from embracing our introversion to celebrating our differences, contributes to a richer, more fulfilling tapestry of human connection.